Much to everyone's disappointment, LeBron seems to be out of the game for the rest of the season. Fans and his fellow players have been reacting to the news ever since the Lakers dropped the bomb. Let's get into how everyone's reacting to the news and other NBA news circling the block. First up, what took him out of the game? Due to a nagging ankle injury he suffered late last month, LeBron James has been shut down for the remainder of the 2021-22 season. Yikes. Unfortunately, for his team's final two games against the Oklahoma City Thunder and Denver Nuggets, the Los Angeles superstar will officially be unavailable. On Friday afternoon, the Lakers' official Twitter account announced the decision. So, the ankle sprain James suffered in a game on March 27th was recently re-evaluated by the Lakers' medical staff. It was then determined that due to the injury to his left ankle, he'll miss the remainder of the season to allow for a continued healing and expected full recovery. We're keeping our fingers and toes crossed for his full recovery. Ironically, claiming that he would be out for the remainder of the season, LeBron took to Twitter with an April Fool's joke. Later that night, the 37-year-old superstar's joke ended up coming true after dropping 38 points against the New Orleans Pelicans. That's why they say to be very careful what you wish for, Mr. James. Fans were not having it with Bron. Of course, fans jumped on the first chance to roast LeBron. One fan straight up wrote that you should never test karma. Another added that the April Fool's tweet wasn't really much of a joke after all, and that there was no real reason to play him and AD these final two games. And so it's best to play it on the safe side. The fan concluded by telling James to rest up and come back stronger next season. However, some fans were still skeptical about the whole scenario, considering that the Lakers were eliminated from playoff contention with a loss to the Phoenix Suns. So, nobody seems to be surprised that he's cutting his 19th year short. One fan wrote that they had already known he was out due to the elimination. What are the sentiments of his colleagues? When LeBron James's ankle was hurt in the game against the visiting Atlanta Hawks, the injury was met with an outpouring of well wishes from his fellow basketball players. Everyone was hoping, as the Lakers are already shorthanded with Anthony Davis missing significant time due to health issues, that the injury wasn't a serious one. Unfortunately, after being re-examined, it seemed like it was more serious than initially believed. All of his colleagues were seen taking to Twitter to A, send out prayers for him, and B, express their disappointment that he's out for the season now. They've all expressed their love for the legendary player and have high hopes for his speedy recovery. The support rings strong from the moment the injury occurred till now. LeBron James is still playing at an elite level in his 19th NBA season, at a time when his colleagues from the legendary 2003 draft have settled for reduced roles or retired. Everyone around the NBA was waiting for an upcoming MRI to see if this injury is going to require a more noticeably cautious approach from the Lakers as they manage their injury-filled season, or if Braun is able to come back in a relatively short order. Needless to say, we all know it was the former as opposed to the latter, but LeBron is still the GOAT. He's in the running to win the MVP award, much like in previous years. He's been averaging 25.8 points, 8.1 rebounds, and 8 assists per contest in the 40 games he's played this season. And he's even had to play extended minutes due to Davis's injury. With near-bottom teams like the Orlando Magic and contenders such as the Milwaukee Bucks, the Lakers' immediate schedule of games was sure to be a mixed bag. The team's decision to finally give LeBron some rest is a wise one, even if the injury turns out to be a minor one in the grand scheme of things. One cannot refute the longevity of LeBron James's career, even if the GOAT debates could go on forever. We're just saying that LeBron is definitely a top GOAT contender if you ask us. Now, in other NBA news, Adebayo sits out of the heat. On Sunday afternoon, the team announced that the Miami Heat center, Bam Adebayo, will sit out the season finale against Orlando for health and safety protocols. Since returning from an injury on January 17th, the 24-year-old hasn't missed a game. His career is currently averaging 19.1 points, along with 10.1 rebounds, 3.4 assists, 1.4 steals, and 0.8 blocks, while shooting 55.7% from the field. The big man has been shooting for the stars lately. In the Eastern Conference, Miami entered the final day of regular season already set with the best record and top playoff seed. Next, Hayward's foot is in the way, literally. Speaking of injuries, on Sunday, the Hornets team announced that their forward, Gordon Hayward, will be out indefinitely with continued discomfort in his left foot. He will be re-evaluated in approximately two weeks. Meanwhile, Hayward's foot will be placed in a cast in order to immobilize it. He's currently averaging 15.9 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 3.6 assists in 31.9 minutes per game in 49 contests, in only his second season with the Hornets. He has posted averages of 15.6 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 3.5 assists in 31.1 minutes per game in 734 games with Boston, Charlotte, and Utah. All this is over the span of his 12-year career. Up next, Matisse ineligible for games 3 and 4 due to vaccination status. Due to the country's laws, stating that unvaccinated foreign nationals are currently prohibited from entering the country and limited exemptions to the rule no longer apply to professional athletes, the player is currently barred from Canada. Big, big, big yikes. Many people have been poking at him to break his silence about the matter. Once the Sixers clinched the number 4 seed and were matched up against the 5th seed Raptors on Sunday, he finally had to break this silence. He explained that since he was raised in a holistic 
pietistic household, they grew up with naturopathic doctors, as well as Chinese medicines. Coming into the situation with his upbringing, felt like he had already had a solid foundation of medical resources, which could do more for him than any vaccine would. He has obviously had to reconsider this stance as things began to unfold. He added that at an unspecified point of last year's postseason, he did feel the need to get one shot, but he did not receive a second shot. He continued by saying that considering the position he's in, he needed to be doing what was right for the greater good, which in turn held a lot of weight on him. However, as the virus mutated and even vaccinated people were transmitting it, his perspective changed yet again. He said he understood there are people inside the organization who are upset and dismayed by his decision, as well as fans. However, his dad taught him as long as he understood the consequences, he needed to make the right decision for himself. His absence in Toronto will weaken an already thin bench, while giving veteran Danny Green an increased role. Lastly, Shonley retires after five decades with the Blazers. After more than five decades with the Portland Trailblazers, the broadcaster who coined the phrase Rip City is calling it a night. Shonley is officially retiring at the ripe age of 92. The broadcaster, affectionately known as Shones, was honored by the team at the regular season finale on Sunday night. He conducted the Oregon Symphony's brass section in playing the national anthem for his final game on Sunday. The now enshrined catchphrase on one of the team's uniforms was born during a game against the Lakers, in which they were down by 20 plus points but made a comeback. He said that before taking a shot, just steps inside the midcourt line, Jim Barnett, a former Oregon player who was one of the original Blazers, winked at him and the shot fell. He said that initially, he had meant to say rip the twine, but he ended up saying rip city, and look where that got him. He added that it took little to no time for the phrase to catch on, including Jerome Kersey and Maurice Lucas, who created rip city. Shonley misses some of the Blazers' greats that have passed away. He said that even though it was a regular season basketball game, he always tried to tell the story as is. He's currently unsure of how he's going to spend retirement because he claims to have no hobbies outside of the Blazers, which has been his life. But it's time for him to hand over the torch, seeing as his health is not once what it was. He has reiterated that he will continue to do whatever he can for the organization even after retirement. That's all for now, folks, but we'll be back with more interesting videos. To stay informed about the sports industry, keep watching our vids. Tell us what you think about LeBron having to tap out for the rest of this season by sounding off in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe before leaving. Signing off for now. Thank you.